Okay, my fellow Americans, it's been reported Trump will open up the Keystone Pipeline on day number one. You'll recall Biden closed it on his day number one. Here comes lower gas prices, and when the gas prices go down, the price on everything goes down. I literally crawled my ass out of bed to respond to this because I'm sicker than a dog. The Keystone Pipeline has been open for 14 years. Yeah. The Keystone XL was never opened, therefore it was never closed. It was 8% complete when Joe Biden killed it. But beside the fact that there has never once been an instance in history where a pipeline has lowered prices on anything, that, that's not a thing. That's a lie that oil companies tell politicians to get them approved, and then the politicians repeat that to their constituents. You can go look at historical data. Uh, prices went up by over a dollar a gallon for four years after the Keystone was opened. Uh, gas prices went up significantly after the Alaska pipeline was opened. There's never been the opening of a pipeline that resulted in lower gas prices. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. It's a lie that oil companies tell you. That's it. There's not a single piece of the Keystone XL in existence. All the, whatever pipeline was laid was dug up. So he can't open it. And then you say the details everyone cares about is being energy dominant. You know, not begging the Saudis for oil and limiting fracking. Donald Trump spent his entire administration begging the Saudis for more oil. Did you, I mean, I know, you know, like this is 2018. Again, he, he spent the whole year of 2018. And then after he got him to do it and completely crashed the market and oil and gas bankruptcies in the United States were skyrocketing and we had lost 30% of our capacity to drill, he continued to press them to increase production as U.S. companies were going bankrupt and tens of thousands of workers were losing their jobs. He continued to beg them for oil. The only thing Joe Biden asked Saudi Arabia was to undo the OPEC 2020 deal, which was Donald Trump's deal, where he got them to cut production by 10 million barrels a day. That's the only thing Joe Biden did. They said no. He was like, fine. That's why we have uh, the SPR. We'll just use our own oil. That is our oil, by the way. As far as uh, limiting fracking, I have no idea what you're talking about. We set a record in the Permian Basin in 2023 for number of wells drilled and completed, which means fracked. We more than any time in history, more than any year under the Trump administration. We also drilled and fracked more wells on federal lands under the Biden administration than Trump. Here in the last two years, we've done over 2,000 wells on federal land. Donald Trump never hit 2,000 once. Yeah, never hit 2,000 once. Donald Trump cannot open the Keystone XL. TC will have to apply to, for a permit, which he could then approve, and then they'll get sued, just like they did last time. And it'll spend 10 years in court, and it'll never get finished, just like everything that happened last time. I wish I could say that nobody knows less about this than you, but that would be wrong. Because all of you like to talk about shit you know absolutely nothing about whatsoever, and you just repeat Donald Trump's talking points, as if it's fact. But I will make you a wager if you care, since you're so confident. You can come up with the amount because I don't want to offend you. I don't know how much money you have to lose. But I will bet you any amount of money that you're willing to bet. I have it, trust me. That Donald Trump asked Saudi Arabia to increase production. Any amount you want to bet, let's do it right now. That's his entire plan for lowering gas prices. You name the amount, because I, I love doubling my money. Yeah, just name, name your price, and I'm, I'm there. Let's do it. Thanks.